My name's Ming. I am eight years old, and I'm a student at School of American Ballet. and the music best about ballet. Well, if I'm really into it, then I feel like I'm like flying, I'm a bird. And Beatrice! When I first started at the School of American Ballet, I was very excited, but then nervous at the same time because I hardly knew anybody. I didn't know much about the school then, but it led me to a lot of new things. After six months, I felt like I knew the place pretty well and I had met more friends. In the morning, we have to remember to pack all my ballet stuff. This is my dog, Joy, and he loves to chase pigeons. I do go to regular school. My favorite things to do at school are art, reading, and writing. This is a fox mask I made in school for a play. And during the day, I look forward to the end of the day so I can go to ballet. I think the most important part of ballet class is when the teacher corrects me if I do something wrong, because then I'll learn how to do it correctly. I think there's different ways in teaching children. I think physically understanding the process is important, but also musically. A lot of the times the rhythm reaches a child a lot faster than the physicality if somebody's more intellectually inclined or more physically inclined. So if I'm not reaching a kid one way, I flip around and say, hey, what about this? I started dancing when I was 13 years old, which is actually kind of late for a dancer. The age children should start ballet should be about eight years old. Teaching ballet makes me feel expressive. I feel like I get a lot of commitment out of the kids, and also they learn a lot, and it's very enjoyable for me. The rules are always the same, but in terms of getting somebody to go forward and learning a little bit faster and being happy in a situation, we deal with each kid individually. And you can really tell if a child is not excelling because they're unhappy or it's too strict. I usually just smile at the child or I put my hand on them and ensure them that they're going in the right direction. My name is Regina Sobel, I'm 12 years old, and I'm a dancer at the School of American Ballet. I started dancing when I was about five years old. I wanted to become a ballet dancer because I love the music and the movement, and my sister did it when she was little, and I loved her so much, and I wanted to do everything she did. My name is Jan Burkhard, I'm 13 years old. I've been dancing for about 11 years, and I dance at the School of American Ballet. Hi, my name is Janelle Manzi and I am 12 years old. I started dancing when I was three. My mom took me to many ballets and I saw dancers and I wanted to be like them and wear tutus and wear point shoes and just look pretty. I auditioned for School of American Ballet when I was nine years old. I was extremely nervous and I couldn't believe what I was doing and that I didn't think I'd probably get in but Eventually, I kind of got enough confidence to really think that maybe I did have a chance. I knew that I was going to make a lot of friends and have famous teachers and grow up to be a ballerina. I just wake up in the morning very early. This is my bedroom, and this is my little sister, Lizzie. This is my little sister's lizard, Lucky. I don't like it very much. I go to a public school in New Jersey, and my favorite subjects are science and math. A typical day for me would be getting up, taking a shower, preparing all my things for this school. I have algebra, algebra notebook, science, civics or social studies. I have um, language arts. I have French. And I also have a creative arts class where we do um, wood and metal shots and I have physical education. <laughs> I have a little sister who also goes to School of American Ballet. 
I'm Dan's little sister. My name is Ojala, and I like to dance. I help my little sister by going over what she does in class. The advice I'd want to give to a little girl that wanted to be a dancer is to follow your heart and your dreams. Bye, 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 Jella. Bye, Jella. Bye, Bye, Mom. Getting all my work done is sometimes hard if I have a lot of it. I go straight to ballet class after school, so I have to pack my bag. Science is my favorite subject, and now I'm looking in a slide of a fly. My friends at my regular school think that it's really interesting that I actually dance with the New York City Ballet and that I perform in front of people. They're really happy for me. They always say, oh, you're so good. They try and come and see. If I couldn't be a ballerina, I'd want to go to college and study medicine. My favorite thing to do in regular school would probably be to work in the wood shop. We're going to be making a stool. The most exciting thing about being a ballet dancer is knowing that this is a really big dream of a lot of young girls. I live on Long Island with my mom, dad, sister, cat, and dog. I think my parents feel that I should just follow whatever I want to do, and they definitely sacrifice a lot of their time to bring me into the city and to classes. When I go to SAB, I do a regular day of school, except I miss the last period. I have to leave early to make the train. My friends at regular school are nice and they understand, but they don't always get what it takes to be a dancer. And at ballet, everybody understands what you're doing. My favorite subject in school is probably English, because I love to write, but I also like orchestra. I play the violin. I have to do my hair on the train because I don't have time before class. At the end of the day, my mom picks me up and I go in the car and we go off to New York City. Every week I take five classes, four are technique, and one is a point class. It's definitely like a family being at the ballet school because you really get to know a lot of the people and the kids there and you get very close as time goes on. Well, my name is Cheryl Ware, and I'm a teacher at the School of American Ballet. I was a performer with New York City Ballet before I became a teacher. I teach the second divisions and the fifth division girls. Um, the second division is usually the ages between 9 and 10, and in the fifth division it could range from 12 to 14. I became a teacher because I love to dance, and it brought me so much joy. It's my pleasure to be able to teach it and have the opportunity to teach it at the school. It's a lot of work, but it's a wonderful thing. They have to be able to be highly focused at a very early age. They have to want to focus. They have to be extremely patient because it takes so many years to develop physically. It takes a long time for the muscles to develop. That's right, Arabesque, right behind you. Side again, jeté. Up one, stay two, up fifth. The most exciting thing about working with young girls is that they're so spontaneous and so honest. The hardest part of dance class is being able to focus because your friends are there, they might distract you a little bit.
Yeah, a lot of the teachers at SAB are strict because they want us to focus. They don't want us goofing off in class. So they want us to pay attention. My favorite part of ballet class is center when we get to do all the things from bar in the center. I practice my balance because at the bar you hold on to the bar and so you're not really balancing. I usually try to focus on what I'm doing and you're able to relax. You just have to listen to the music and forget what else is going on. I listen to the music. I just feel what I hear. It makes me really happy. My name's Aisha and I'm a dancer with the New York City Ballet. I've been in the company for five years. I'm still a core dancer. I started studying dance altogether at the age of five. And I started studying ballet when I was about 11. The hardest thing about being part of the New York City Ballet, I would have to say, are the hours. We put in a lot of hours, and there's a lot of ballets that we have to learn. start off 10 30 to 12 we have class that's warm-up technique class to prepare our bodies for the day after that we have rehearsals emotionally it's very rewarding ballet is something that when you start off it's a passion to dance and to perform every night I'm able to feel that passion that I have inside When I first auditioned for the School of American Ballet, I was pretty naive. My family was ecstatic when I joined. And even getting into the school, that was enough for them. Because as a young girl, you realize that this may, you know, determine my dream. My dream is to become a famous ballerina with New York City Ballet and to be a principal and do all the main roles in all the ballets. My biggest wildest dream would to be a principal dancer in New York City Ballet. My dream is to be a principal dancer in a great company and to just be in like all the things that I've wanted to do. Well, I feel when I watch the principal dancers and the grown-ups that when I grow up that I want to be exactly like them. Living in the School of American Ballet dormitories was a great experience. I lived there for three summers and two full years. I think it's an excellent opportunity because you have a lot of other dancers around you, constantly inspiring one another, motivating one another. Well, this is the SAB dorms, and this is where you stay when you become a student of the school. I stayed here from about the age of 14 to, I say, about 18. And uh, let's just say it's been a long time since I've been in one of these rooms. But uh, it brings back a lot of good memories. I love to collect my favorite dancer's shoes. And these shoes belong to the person I really want to dance like when I get older, Maria Kurowski. I'm Maria Kurowski, I'm 24, and I'm a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet. I 
I started ballet when I was five years old at the local YMCA. My older sister was dancing and I used to try in her ballet clothes all the time and run around the house. And my mother decided to start me in ballet classes. I moved to New York when I was 16 from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I lived in the dormitory above the School of American Ballet. My parents were a little cautious about sending me there at first, but once they realized that food and dancing and sleeping were all in the same building, they were very happy about that. I had auditioned for a lot of different places, and this was the place I wanted to be. Before class, I stretch. I make sure my calves are stretched out. I try to get as limber as possible before class starts and warm up the feet. When I did move here, I found that I made lots of good friends, friends that I still have. They have to look after a lot of dancers, and it's hard to give individual attention to each person and encourage them, but I think, you know, you kind of find your way. The costumes are a very important part of the ballet. Just it's part of the whole preparation of getting yourself in the right emotion for the particular ballet you're doing. It's definitely a great place to dress up because you get to wear all different types of costumes and you get to put makeup on and it's a lot of fun. When I was little I loved to play dress up and I'd walk around the house and do a fashion show for my parents and now I'm always on stage so I get fitted for my costume and I just love wearing a costume that's all bright colored and that has jewels on it. I wear my red leotard every day for big ballet class because that's the color that we have to wear. For certain costumes you're dressed as a princess and it just gets you in that mood, in that feeling of being a princess. In every season there will be a new set of ballets that we do and I get very excited because it's a different repertory that I can perform and broaden my horizons. My first ballet was The Nutcracker, and the roles that I played in it were a party scene girl at the beginning and a Christmas angel in the second act. When I'm in a performance, I feel really excited, but then I get nervous if I look at the audience. So I don't look at the audience, I pretend it's not there and it's just a rehearsal. And I just do my part. Usually the little girls get nervous on stage, so I like to give them advice like, don't get nervous and just pretend it's a rehearsal and be yourself. I've been in Nutcracker, Maltartiana, Circus Polka, Midsummer Night's Dream, Send the Ballet, Sleeping Beauty, and Coppelia. I've been in Garland Waltz, which is in Sleeping Beauty, and I've been in Nutcracker. In Midsummer Night's Dream, we wear like costumes that look like bugs. Like we're supposed to look like imaginary bugs. When I'm backstage behind the curtain, and right before I'm going on, I worry about falling or sneezing, or my costume getting caught on some other costume. I had a friend once in Midsummer Night's Dream who was next to the curtain and the scenery, and the scenery was netted, and her hat got stuck to the scenery. 
Going on tour is great. I've seen so many parts of the world that I would never have seen if I wasn't with a company. I mean, we've been to Paris, we've been to Australia, we've been to Taiwan and Korea. With Peter Martins is great. Working in a studio with him while he's choreographing is very exciting. He's very energetic and he's full of inspiration. He wants to use you to your best of your ability and ideas flow out of him. It's a lot of fun. This year I was very lucky because I was chosen to be on the poster for the campaign of the New York City Ballet's 2001 season. I really do like the poster. It almost looks like I'm on stage. It's great. Before I started performance when I put makeup on, it's really fun because usually girls my age don't usually every day or every other day get to put on makeup except on Halloween. Putting on makeup is a lot of fun. Some lipstick, blush, and some eyeshadow. And you transform yourself into a ballerina. I like getting made up for performances. I think it's the little girl inside of us all. In my ballet bag, I carry lots of different things. In my ballet bag, I keep my hairspray and my brush. This is my homework folder. My ballet shoes. This is an extra leotard. My point shoes. This is an extra pair of tights. My hair pieces. This is Peppy. My tights. In my ballet bag, there's a lot of things. My money. This is Willie. My band-aids. These are my hair brushes. And foam tape for my toes when they get blisters. I have masking tape, which we use to tape our toes. Extra tights, extra leotard. This is a pencil and a pen to do my homework. Extra pair of ballet slippers. I have different shoes. Some are harder, some are softer. Rubber bands. Oops. And then I have a little zipper bag, which I keep little band-aids and maybe tape in there to tape my toes. These are bobby pins. My bobby pins. Hair pins. <laughs> Click. Hair nets, scrunchies. And hair elastics. Maybe some rubber bands. Hair spring gel. And my good luck rock that says strength. This isn't just for the girls. Boys do class as well. are a very important thing to a ballet dancer. And here at the School of American Ballet, students go through 7,000 pair of point shoes a year. That's why here at the school they provide this wonderful point shoe room that's open every Saturday for the students where they can come in and try on shoes and find the right size. Every dancer does something special with their shoes. What I like to do is wet them before every class so they mold to my feet and to break in the box a little bit. I like to bend the arch a little bit, not too much, to break the shoe. Uh, there's some ballets you have to have it last the whole entire ballet. You have to have a nice solid shoe. So if you break it too much, then 
after the first five minutes, you're gone. I cut off the tip of the toe shoe, and then I usually put a little glue in the tip to keep the shoe harder and to last a little bit longer. I also try to make the shoe form a little bit better to my foot, so when I put my foot in, it's not so scrunched in there. And I usually scrape the bottom of the shoe, and then when I actually put the shoe on, I go over to the rosin box, and I put a lot of rosin on so I don't slip. I feel more passionate now than when I was a little girl. I think the more I perform, the more passionate I get about it. When I see little girls, I remember the times when I was little and wanting to be a dancer. And, you know, when they see me, they look up at me. And I guess I am someone they look up to. It's weird because I never thought I would be that person. When I go on point, I really love it. And I feel more graceful when I go on point. And I love being up high. I couldn't wait to be on point and that maybe one day I'll be dancing in point shoes on stage. It's nice to be, like, high and... You're on your toes and it's just relaxing. And there's so many different ballets and I love them all in, in so many different ways. My advice to a little girl who wants to start studying ballet is to just remember the passion that she has. Be determined and just continue following your dreams. Performing for an audience is the best thing to me. It's the most exciting thing. You can go out on stage and do whatever your heart tells you to do. Listen to the music and just be yourself. And it's a different part of you that is coming alive and exciting people out in the audience and touching people and it's wonderful. <laughs>